It is on. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to another Ramadan video. this video for the past maybe like two or three years but every year Ramadan comes by we focus on the vlogs and we completely forget to make this video but I thought you know what I'll take out some time and do it today so we are gonna be I guess prepping iftari drop-offs for our, for our family and friends because we are in quarantine so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do it and if you guys like the video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe also again my beautiful outfit is from Simple Trends by SM. You guys can go and check them out. They've just got like a whole new bunch of like outfits and stuff. So I thought I'd share it with you guys for those of you guys that would like to go check them out. Make sure you guys do. The link is in my bio. So let's get into the video in three, two, one. Okay guys, so we are making a fatty drop offs because this year, well we do it every year, but this year we were not able to call literally anyone for iftari and stuff, so we thought we would make iftar packages and drop those off. And it's super easy to make, it's easy to prep for as well as long as you do it a day before. Because I have a baby, I decided to prep everything a day before, but if you have a lot more time on your hands on the day of, make sure just you can just do it on the day of as well. Um, okay, so the two things that you need to put everything together are just foil paper and a foil tray or a tin tray like whatever people call it but um, yeah I do have a lid you don't even need a lid you can just put saran wrap on top honestly this is so easy to do so I'll show you guys how I do it so to begin I actually prepped everything yesterday night so I'll clip those videos in right now so I sliced up my potatoes for the aloo ke pakore and I also made the mixture for it so you could sit in it overnight before I made the pakore just so I feel like the aloo is actually soaking all the all the flavors um and i also made my piasca pakora, piasca pakora mixture and um, i also let that sit in the fridge too i have my samosa already ready and i have my spring rolls already ready and i just made my dal this morning so i have that already ready obviously you can put whatever you want some people like to give fruit chart and other things some people like to do these i also have made sevigne or sevia or vermicelli whatever you guys call it for dessert and i also made mango kulfi i put a lot of items i think together i didn't need to but i did um, only because i had a lot of time on my hands yesterday so i'll cue in all the prep now so i just added butter and now i'm gonna add the sauvignia or the savia or vermicelli whatever everybody calls it we're gonna brown this in the butter I always add a little bit of coconut for coconut flavor. It tastes really good. So I'm going to toast that too. And now I'm pouring in some evaporated milk instead of regular milk. Now you're going to add in your sugar or brown sugar. For the final step, I'm just adding sliced almonds and pistachios. So now for tomorrow's iftar drop off, I'm gonna slice up the onions and make the batter for the onion pakoras and then I'm gonna slice up the potatoes for the batter for the potato um, pakoras. I'm also preparing my besan mixture for the frying process. I covered them both with saran wrap and I'm gonna pop them in into the fridge for overnight. I prepped all of that stuff already and I have left all of the frying stuff for today. So before we begin putting everything together, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get to frying everything, so let's go. 
Okay, so to begin, I have my mixtures and everything ready from yesterday and I'm going to get started on the frying process and I'm going to drop them into these foil trays over here and then I'm going to separate them into their own foil trays. So let's get started. Okay guys, so now that my pakora, my samosa, my spring rolls, and my my aluka pakora and my piaski pakora, I guess, um, are all fried up, we're gonna get to putting everything together. So to put everything together, what I do is I use my foil tray right here. Um, all the dry ingredients are really easy to separate, but obviously like the meat, you don't want it to go in with the pakora and stuff. So what I do is I take foil paper, and let me just show you guys. So I'm gonna take foil paper and I make little wells out of them or like kind of like little barriers. Um, so I'll rip this and then I'll scrunch it or fold it up like this. Foil paper is so easy to actually um, turn into a shape that you want it to and it'll actually stay like that. So I make little, I don't know what to call them, but like walls, I guess. And then I either make a circle or a square out of them. I like to just do circles because they're easier. And I place it in here, like so. Do you guys see that? And then I'll put my mita in here and then I'll make another one for dal. I usually do chana, but for, the, for this year, Raheem really wanted dal, so I made it, so I ended up doing it for everyone. But basically the chana will go in there or the dal will go in there as well as the meat and stuff. And then all the, anything that's basically dried or anything that's fried will go on the side. So let's get to that. Now that all the frying is done, we're gonna get to putting the trays together. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the alu pakori and we're gonna place them on one side. Take some of the spring rolls and place them right in here because they seem to fit. Also, we'll go right here beside it. And then for the final step before putting everything away, all we do is garnish everything. And now for some garnishing with that. And now I'm gonna put the cover on and write the name on top and that is it. And that is it, I'm gonna put the cover on. The coffee will go with it. And that's it. After putting all of your items into your trays, you can also use flat trays as well. It doesn't really matter because you're going to be making those wells anyways. So after doing that, you want to cover it with saran wrap or the trays lid, I guess, if you have a lid. And then we like to just write people's names on top so that we know which one is going to whose house because obviously everyone has a different number of people living in their house. So it just makes life easier. for today's video guys hope you guys liked the video and if you guys did don't forget to like comment share and subscribe turn notifications on so you get notified when i post up my next video but until then people take care keep smiling and peace out